Thank you for joining Jennifer Schaus and Associates in our 2019 Webinar Wednesday series. We're coming to you live from downtown Washington, D.C. Our webinars are every Wednesday, and you can find the upcoming schedule on our website. Past webinars and all recordings are also on our website and on our YouTube channel, along with over 160 other recordings on federal contracting topics. All are complimentary. If you have questions for our speaker today, you can email them directly with the contact information you'll see on the last slide. All right, and this is just a little bit about us. We are a Washington, D.C.-based firm and provide services for federal contractors. This ranges from market analysis reports to proposal writing and also close to board compliance. More information is on our website, so please visit us there. We do offer advertising in our newsletter, newsletter so please feel free to reach out to us at that email if you'd like more information on that. All right, our speaker today is Mark Amtower. He's going to be going over social selling for federal contractors, 15 tips in 15 minutes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to you. Thank you so much. Um, so next slide, please. Um, before we get started, let me put this in context. There's uh, 630 plus million members of LinkedIn worldwide. 170 mi 177 million of those are in the US. I do a census of LinkedIn federal employees every year. And about June of this year, we had 2.3 million. My next federal LinkedIn census by agency and operating division will be out in January. So stay tuned for that if you need the, uh, the actual numbers. And according to HubSpot, um, LinkedIn is the number one channel for B2B marketers for distributing content. And the B2B includes the, uh, the, the B2G people. But the most important thing to keep in mind here is that LinkedIn, uh, especially with those 2.3 million feds, it has become an integral part of the GovCon ecosystem. And it's used for lots of things, including building your network, staying in touch with that network, uh, account or agency-based marketing, ABM, uh, increasing the number of connections you have in specific accounts, lead generation, thought leadership and building a subject matter expert platform, content marketing, branding your company and more. May we have the next slide, please? So <clears throat> the first five tips are gonna be profile tips. And I, I apologize if this seems elementary to several, but in point of fact, most people still don't do these things or they don't do them well. So that background area behind your headshot, if indeed you have a headshot, uh, that blue area with the white lines and dots, this is editable space and it's the biggest free billboard that you can get on a platform like LinkedIn because it's, you know, when people go to your profile, it's the first thing they're going to see. So your company logo, some kind of graphic that emphasizes your skill, uh, use that area to your advantage. The headshot, business attire, smiling, no bar photos, dance photos, whatever. This is a business site, so act accordingly. The headline underneath your name is also editable space, and the default is your current job title. Your job title really doesn't tell people what you bring to the market. So what you do and who you do it for should be incorporated into your headline area. The summary now called the about is your story, what you do uh, and why you do it. And for experience, each job position that you've held, what the company does, who they do it for and what you do at that. A lot of people still leave these areas really uh, blank or they have a cut and paste thing from the company, but not everybody knows what your company does or your division in that company. So please explain it. But the first three items, the background, the headshot and the headline are absolutely critical because you have about three or four seconds when somebody opens your profile to get them interested enough to look at the other stuff like the summary or the about and the experience. Next slide, please. So a couple of, <clears throat> oh, one, one more thought here. If your profile's not optimized, it's an incomplete puzzle. Um, it's not a destination. So the opposite of optimized in this case would be irrelevant. People are just gonna pass it by. Next slide, please. 
I don't mean to pick on Mr. Weiler here, but this is a perfect example of what I mean. Uh, no use of the background area, no headshot. Um, he's chief executive officer at IT-AAC. If you don't know what that is, why would you spend time looking further? It's just very boring. Next slide, please. So in contrast, we have, there it is, Kevin DeSanto of Kipps DeSanto. Uh, they are obviously an investment banking firm. Notice that the company logo is sized perfectly to fit in that background area. So there's, <clears throat> there's ways that you can size your graphic to do a really good fit. Make sure you don't lose any of the text by having it run underneath your headshot. It won't run over your headshot, it'll run under. So you want the complete text uh, showing. So Kevin does a great job there. Notice also the, the headline right under his name, uh, Investment Banker for Leading Aerospace, Defense, Government, and Technology Services Companies. Who, what he does and who he does it for. Next slide, please. If there's any doubt about Kevin, the about section here uh, has, has several things that I want to point out. First, the opening line, my entire professional career has been focused on executing and providing advice on M&A and financing transactions for the companies in government contracting, aerospace and defense and technology. Boom, right there. But, but look at this. Very short paragraphs, excellent use of white space, extremely readable. I've seen all of this smushed into one paragraph, and after the first line or two, it really becomes very difficult to read, especially because most people are now reading on a mobile device. Next slide, please. So the, the, the profile tips technically count as social selling tactics because those entice people to look at you. So next, you want to find or produce, write your own, uh, and then share useful information. You, do, you find content, you produce content, and you share the content. What you don't want to do is share uh, kumbaya platitudes or the equivalent of cat videos. You need to keep this professional. You need to make sure it's germane to the, the network that you're building, the audience that you serve. Number two, follow the agency or agencies you're targeting. And this would also apply to if you're following systems integrators or prime contractors that you want to work with, any other company you want to work with. Once you follow them, any information that occurs about them will show up either on your notification page or if they're doing it themselves, if they're changing their profile or adding information, it'll show up on your home page. <clears throat> Number three, look deeply into those accounts and identify and follow key personnel. Identifying and following before you reach out to connect, because when you ultimately reach out to connect, you want to be able to put it in a context that will resonate with them and encourage them to connect with you. Uh, oftentimes, you can scroll to the bottom of their profiles to see what groups they belong to. Uh, and I monitor the posts of key people, uh, both in government and industry, uh, and I comment when I can add value. On occasion, I will simply like. Uh, if I don't think I can say, you know, something intelligent, I still want to indicate that I like it. All of these things will put you on their radar. Next slide, please. <clears throat> So for information, um, very few blogs are as informative as Government Sales Insider produced by the Emix Group. It has about 20 different authors, so Rachel is not the only author there, but they have industry analysts, they have subject matter experts on technologies, they have experts on doing business with specific agencies. So all of these posts are coming out on a regular basis and they're great information for you and you may want to share them either internally or externally depending on what you do. But there's a lot of really excellent blogs out there with, with focuses on agencies or technologies or pretty much anything in our market so that you can, you can share with your network. So you don't have to produce the content 
in order to share it. Next, please. Another great source for me is Washington Technology. So uh, Ross Wilkers is one of the reporters there. Uh, Nick Wakeman's the editor. So I often find things to comment on here or share in my network. So I'll either share it in my groups or I'll just share it as part of my timeline on LinkedIn. Next slide, please. So now we, we get to a particular agency and you notice uh, you have the, the you know, uh, DISA, this is like their company profile, right? So on the right hand side, we see that there's 4,165 employees on LinkedIn. So number one, I'm going to follow DISA. So I'll click the follow button, but then I'll click on the employee button. Next slide, please. And now we have the list ultimately of all the employees and you can scroll away if you want or notice on the top navigation bar where it says DISA connections, locations and all filters. I highlighted the all filters so it won't be a blue box on your screen until you click it. But when you click on the all filters, next slide please. You come up with a screen that allows you to pick uh, particular uh, uh, locations, um, other, you know, just a lot of different things. But I scroll down, next slide, please. I scroll down usually to the uh, filter where first name, last name, job title. Um, so I want to find everybody at DISA who has cloud as part of their job function area. Next slide, please. So we go from uh, 4,000 plus to 353. If I want to narrow it down to uh, uh, location, DISA has two major locations. They have uh, Baltimore, which would be Fort Meade, and then they have uh, Washington, which would be uh, the DISA facility over in Northern Virginia. But I have what I want right here, Chief of Cloud Services at DISA. Hello. This is a pretty good connection if I'm looking for cloud people. Next slide, please. So uh, I have John here. What I'm going to do with John when I hit the more button, I'm going to follow him. I don't have a great reason to reach out and connect with him right now. And also notice that he only has 178 connections. So he's not connecting to just anybody who reaches out. The fact that we share nine connections would give me a little bit of uh, credibility with him because we share at least nine people in common, but I'll follow him first. Next slide, please. So the next set of social selling tactics, uh, monitor your notifications. On your top nav bar, notifications is almost all the way over to the right. And this is the place where you're gonna find birthdays and people getting new jobs or getting promotions in their current place of work. I always look at the person before I say congrats. So I'll click through to their profile. I will click through to their company profile and see who else I'm connected with at that company. And then I'll come back and say, hey, happy birthday. I think you're really in a great uh, company or congrats on the new position when you see you know, your boss, and I'll name the boss, tell him Amtower says hello. I want to add a little more than just the congrats or the happy birthday. I want to personalize it so my, my, my congrats or happy birthday stands out. Endorsing and recommending people. Uh, the endorsement is just the list of skills that are posted on their profile, and you can click through. The recommend, uh, recommend is the actual written recommendation. Um, those are great ways to get on people's uh, radar. Uh, monitor your homepage feed. That's all the way on the left on your top navigation bar. That's where anything that happens in your network, uh, when somebody updates their profile, when somebody puts an article on LinkedIn, when somebody comments on somebody else's activity, that homepage is where that activity will show up. Anybody you're following and anybody you're connected to. 
when you can and if you can encourage your sales marketing and bd staff as well as your subject matter experts to engage on linkedin the more they engage on linkedin with you the more likely it is you'll have an exponential reach when it comes to getting your company out there to branding your company to building your network and the the major thing here is to be active and stay on the radar you, you're building a network of people that you want to influence, hopefully that will buy from you. In order to do that, you have to be on their radar on a regular basis in a positive way. Next slide, please. So uh, Jamal's birthday came up. We'd been connected for a while. Uh, happy birthday, Jamal. Make it a great day. Am I going to see you at the Government IT Sales Summit this year? Um, I speak at this event every year, um, and uh, I encourage a lot of people to come, sometimes this way, sometimes by posting it in broader venues, but I, I didn't know if he even knew about it. Next slide, please. And it turns out that he didn't. Um, did we miss a slide here? No. Um, Okay, so the, the the conversation with Jamal went, I hadn't heard of this before, I'll see you there. So we swapped three or four messages and I, I did see him at the summit, but he didn't know it existed. So on the recommendation side, next slide now, please. Thank you. Um, on the recommendation side, we have Jennifer Schaus here. Uh, so when you, uh, because we're connected, uh, the, the bars at the top are message or more. When you click on the more, I can share her profile with people that I know if I think they need to know her and they don't. Uh, I have a lot of different options, but uh, including follow. But if I wanted to recommend her, I would click that and I would be prompted then by LinkedIn to say where she worked, where I worked, and in what time frame. And once we have that context established, LinkedIn will prompt me to write my recommendation. And again, this is the written variety. So I, I've written quite a few for people over the years, and uh, I find it a very effective tool for staying on the radar. Next slide, please. So another interesting thing that happened just a couple of weeks ago, this is interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, the news itself. The Veterans Administration has its first cohort of women-owned small business owners. So this is the group photo of those women. But notice the, uh, the pencil with Audrey Chambers Robinson's name in there. LinkedIn now has the, uh, the ability to tag photos, which is cool. Next slide. So when you click on that, everybody's got their, their name assigned to them. Uh, this allows me to see everybody who's there to determine who I'm connected with. So I looked up absolutely everybody here. I'm connected to six of these women. Next slide, please. So I was going to comment on this anyway, just to say congrats. This is very cool. But I also tag Roberta, Robin, Audrey, uh, uh, Yashika, Stacy, and there was one other, I, I, I hope. Um, well, anyway, I tag these people. So this immediately goes into their notification. Mark Amtower uh, tagged you in a discussion uh, so they know. But what happened as a result of this is I had conversations online with four of them that resulted in offline conversations that may result with me doing business with two of them in 2020. So this is the kind of thing that you can do to stay on the radar, to get back on the radar uh, and pursue a conversation with people simply by starting by saying, hey, congrats on this cohort, very cool. Next slide, please. And this is just part of the continuation. Next slide. And again, part of the, there was a lot of activities here. One final tip um, for this, when 
when you're doing uh, connecting with people on LinkedIn, it's really important to vet absolutely everybody that reaches out to you. Um, the reason is there's a lot of suspect characters on LinkedIn and there's a lot of suspect activity. Uh, some of it is nefarious, some of it is uh, less so, but still you're, you're known by the company you keep. So vet absolutely everybody that reaches out to you to connect on LinkedIn. Next slide, please. So finally, uh, don't use hard sell tactics. Reach out and be genuine. Liking things is okay when you don't have anything specific to say and, and stay professional. Um, there's a lot of other social selling tactics. Happy to discuss this with you if you like, uh, but next slide, please. That is, uh, that is my tips for today. Again, happy to discuss later. And Jennifer, thank you for the invitation. Yeah, thank you, Mark, for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at the email or phone number shown on your screen. And this concludes the webinar. Thank you.